And CTV's Daniel Rowe is on the scene and joins us again. Uh, Daniel, give us an idea. They said they're starting to get it under control and it's been coming down. Does it seem like it's coming down? Yeah, I've been watching the geyser for the last 20 minutes or so. It was as high as the second floor of the building that you see right behind me. You can see it's still bubbling. It's about 10 feet still. I would say 6 to 10 feet in the air, and um, but it has come down a bit. There is still a lot of water on the ground. You can see these cars behind me that are currently underwater. And I've had to walk, I've kind of walked around. The water levels are still quite high, but they apparently are going down a bit, although I haven't seen it decrease that much. And uh, you were listening in on the news conference. Still no clear cause to this yet. Yeah, the 84-inch 84, 84 hole, they said, in a, way, in a water main that takes drinking water to the east of Montreal. Now, th to give you an idea, last week in the record rainfall, this area didn't get to sustain really any damage at all. It was more in the west of Montreal. So now we're getting the east side, I guess, needs its water issue. So this water main broke, and it's just been billowing water into this about eight city blocks in this area is what's been evacuated. But uh, the good news is, as far as we can tell, that because of the system, uh, they're, they're, they'll have water still. The design that's of the what system. They, that's what they said. Yeah, they said in the news conference just that was just heard is that water will still be getting to the east of Montreal. They'll still be drinkable. I live just to the east of where this water main break is. Uh, my power's out, but my water was working. So I'm hoping that that remains to be the case in the future. Fingers crossed. Now, do you have any flooding by your place? No, but, uh, flooding kind of ends right where this road is that I'm standing on. That, this is kind of the edge of it. It's just a bit east of here, but it goes all the way to Papineau Avenue, which is where the CTV office is, which has been evacuated. And there is a lot of water going into the basement and the parking garage is there. So we're waiting to see what the damage will be, but we don't know. And, uh, and homes as well. Um, Fire was mentioning they were going door to door there. Yeah, there's, there's actually a huge construction project here. I'm just going to turn around. This is a new development, two new condo buildings. I don't know if this is connected, but the street that where the flooding is has had quite a bit of construction over the summer. So may have been, I know they've been replacing water mains all over the city because they're quite old. So I don't know if that's the cause of it, but I know that this is a big construction area. And as you see the Jacques Cartier Bridge behind me, there's quite a few um, condo buildings and residents there as well. So a lot of work going on and aging infrastructure, like a very common event across the, across the country. Uh, do we know if this is going to be anywhere near as bad as what we saw in Calgary? Uh, we don't know that yet. It doesn't seem to be. It seems to be, oh, I'm just looking over and the geyser has just gone down quite significantly. So, like the mayor was saying in the news conference, we have had a few water main breaks before uh, downtown and other areas. And so I don't believe it'll be similar to Calgary, but that remains to be seen. They just, I guess, need to shut off whichever valve is responsible and plug that hole. Can we get another shot of the water main? Can you see it still? Where it, can, it's, I'm just trying to figure, see where it is. And, how, and give a us a comparison a... as to where it was, the height-wise. Okay, I'm just going to get my camera here. I know so you're, work, was, I know you're working with your iPhone, so it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, the building behind me is uh, the office building that's about four floors. Now, it used to be up to the past the second floor, and you could just barely see it down by the road, um, right, in, right under that um, billboard there. Um, it's just right there you can just barely see it so it's gone I, down quite a bit i'm even straining since, right now to see um, it yeah you can you can barely yeah. make it out right now i would walk across there but there's a danger tape here and uh, the <laughs> fire chief told us not to go past these even though i may or may we're, not have we're, past we're good <laughs> we, we want to keep you safe daniel thanks very much for that update <laughs> though we appreciate it it's a pleasure thanks so much ctv's daniel rowe in montreal